The Port of Detroit handles manufacturing shipments, things like steel and cement, which are down right now. Those massive container vessels carrying things like toys from Asia, they wouldn't fit here. But that doesn't mean the port isn't still looking long term at how it can expand its reach. We're located next to two class one railroads, uh, three interstates. We could a major intermodal hub right here in southeast Michigan. Executive Director of the Detroit Wayne County Port Authority, Mark Shrupp, wants to see the Port of Detroit grow as a regional fast lane to the Midwest. The Detroit River connects to the Atlantic Ocean via the St. Lawrence Seaway. And given what's happening on the coasts with the shipping log jam, he's also talking with port authorities in places like Cleveland, which, unlike Detroit, can house large container ships like those anchored and waiting off the coast of L.A. In what capacity, if any, do you see the Port of Detroit helping in this backlog that we're seeing on the coasts? The West Coast ports, there probably isn't much that we can do to alleviate that, but there are backups on the East Coast. A more feasible possibility for regional vessels, perhaps, but a direct fix to the international log jam? Likely not, says Professor Ravi Anupindi, who teaches about supply chains at U of M. You could divert some of that to come into the East Coast ports through the Panama Canal, Right, but that adds another 10, 12 days. Traffic coming directly from Asia would generally go to the West Coast. And despite being huge consumers of goods from Asia, our ports don't have near the capacity of other major countries. The Port of LA's latest capacity numbers didn't even land in the top 10. European shipments may be helped by the Great Lakes some, but likely in an indirect way. Cleveland's port, with its greater capacity, is allowing some ships waiting in line at the coast to unload there instead. If you focus on the holiday season right now, which is toys and, you know, clothing, gift giving and all that stuff, I mean, 90% of those we import. And mostly from Asia, another reminder and Upindi says of how critical U.S. port upgrades are right now. Most of the port of Detroit's terminals are privately owned, around 30. Just one is public. Shrupp recently met with terminal owners to talk about the port's future. We've asked them to rethink how they use their, their uh, riverfront properties, not just importing the old steel and other products like that, but look at ways of being more of a logistics hub. $17 billion of that trillion dollar infrastructure bill will go toward aging port infrastructure here in the U.S. Most people continuing to watch ports like the one in L.A. closest. In terms of upgrades here in Detroit, Shrupp says those can and will happen, but it is a long-term goal. Not likely to happen during the course of this international shipping backlog, which Professor Anupindi says is expected to last at least for several more months. I'm Jen Schantz for 7 Action News.